do it. <laughs> Let's do it, Trusty. My body is ready. Return. That's game. That's game, baby. Woo. <laughs> let's let's have our battle. Ooh, it's the gladius. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun indeed. now <laughs> all right so we took the saber out for a bit of a spin a couple days ago and these are the results I gotta say the saber in atmosphere is absolutely incredible so here we go into the first turn into the into the gunshots again and again saber's got pretty powerful guns do a little bit of a pre-turn here as we come around the corner and we've already got gun sight on him second round already crippled his wings and down he goes but there's something here i want to drive home and that's called well the one circle fight and pre-turning so let's take a look why this fight broke down with a ship with low return rate was still able to win against the talon which is the king of atmospheric flight right now so here we go, we're getting close to our target. Again, wait until we, we engage, and right here is where the fight starts to go south for him. I've already pre-nosed my nose over, I've already positioned myself as best I can, and what's happening is he's a bit late on deciding when to start turning. Now he's also turning the same direction I'm turning, which is known as a one circle fight. So if he had chosen to go the other way, it would turn into what's called a two circle fight. But because I pre-nosed already and positioned myself with my bottom thrusters to get the shot, which is right here, we're both strafing the same direction, I'm already at an advantage as he's trying to make up ground. So I've got all this extra target time, bang, 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 bang. Half my magazine is out before he even has a chance to fire back. And on top of that, I have four size three guns, so I definitely have a lot of target time. So we do the same thing here. We do a little bit of a pre-nose and then right here is really a big a big no-no, right? So he lost a bit of his orientation. He wasn't really sure which direction to turn the circle fight into. And by that time, his shields are already down and I took a shot and that was it for this talent pilot. But, you know, atmospheric flight, guys, it's, it, it's, it's not like space combat. You really have to work on your angles. You really have to work on your position. And if you're in something like the Sabre, which flies incredibly butter smooth in atmosphere, you really have to position yourself correctly. So let's take a look at fight number two here, which in my opinion was a lot easier than I thought, not because of the pilot, but because I expected the Gladius to be able to perform better in atmosphere. Now I haven't flown the Gladius in, com in competitive combat yet, but judging by what's going on here, if we look at uh, Dexamo, he he's struggling. If you look, look at his nose, trying to come and break the circle around me in that direction. You can see his nose is just not coming around. Like it's just not coming around. And I think he's fighting his airspeed too much with uh, with his gladius. The gladius struggles at high airspeed to be able to bring its nose around. So this gives us a great opportunity because look, we're pre-turning, pre-nosing, and I'm already getting myself in position. 
so that I'm positioning the body of my ship closer to the direction where it has it, it, it forces him to turn his nose more to get onto me. And now I've dropped my speed a little bit, I've got my position correct, and he once again is fighting for his nose to come around, so he's got no choice here but to try and disengage. Because if he keeps trying to get into those turn fights, it's going to be bad news bears for him. So once again, right, we're positioning ourselves so that we're giving ourselves the best opportunity with the approach angle we can to get the shots on target, pulling into the turn, rotating so our bottom thrusters are pulling us through, and it's our control surface, so we get even more acceleration on that axis. And once again, he's still struggling to get his nose on target, still struggling in the yaw. And he's once again decided to disengage. But this time we were a little more prepared. I kept myself a little closer. And we scored the kill. So I'm excited to get into the I'm excited to get into the Gladius and see just how difficult the Gladius is in atmosphere compared to the Saber. Because right now the Saber is performing really, 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 really good in atmosphere. Just absolutely fantastic. And this was done on Hurston, which has a much thicker atmosphere than on the moons, say like Daymar and other ships, right? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was a cool breakdown. The Sabre, if I was going to give this thing a rating, I'd say the Sabre in atmosphere right now is, is a solid 9 out of 10. It is super butter smooth. It is almost like flying in space. So for the Sabre pilots out there, you've been redeemed. The Sabre um, performs very well in atmosphere. Now, I don't know whether the Sabre hasn't really been tuned properly in 314, 315 to give it the atmospheric profile that is intended for the ship, I don't know. All I can tell you is what's currently in the game right now and what's currently uh, winning fights in the PU and AC at the moment, right? So we always stay updated on the meta. We always have new videos coming out every day. So if something changes and the Sabre starts to go downhill when it comes to atmospheric combat, you bet your ass we're going to make a video on it. Alright guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. I hope you enjoyed this video. The Sabre is a solid 9 out of 10 in atmosphere, so if you've got a Sabre, folks, bring that thing down to the planet if you've got someone who's engaging you, because you will have a significant advantage. I was Avenger1. I hope to see you out for stream. Take a look at Predator Mounts if you're in the market for some mounting systems, and I'll see you next time.